Hello everyone. Welcome to Anton the Marketer's channel. In today's video, I want to show you the capabilities of the Make tool for automating business processes and neural networks. It's a great tool that allows you to perform simple tasks by adding the services you need and automating your routine tasks. The good news is that this tool is free. I've used it a couple of times when I needed more speed, especially more than one minute between launches, and when I needed access to active scenarios. Currently, I'm using the free plan with 1,000 operations per month, which allows you to run over 1,000 applications for your work. It's a very cool tool. Let me show you what it looks like inside. I've prepared five scenarios that you can use in your work. Working with a website and email responses, using a Telegram bot to inform you about your activities, working with a Gmail inbox to communicate with your audience, automatically uploading content to YouTube, and automatically filling your social media with RSS feeds. Let's start with the Telegram bot. Telegram is a convenient platform for communicating with your audience. I'll show you how to set up Make. Inside Make, there are connectors that perform specific actions. We see three connectors. The first connects the Telegram bot, the second goes to OpenChat GPT, where we connect the GPT-4 model. Then I choose the user role, and we have the task of responding to a message from the audience. There's a limit of 300 tokens, so the message may sometimes be cut off. The third connector sends the message with the GPT result back. We launch the hook and go to Telegram to send a message. You see, it processed the message in a second. Received the message, processed it in GPT, and sent it back. These are huge possibilities for working with the interface. You can send any information, including CRM system data, Google Alerts, etc. The next case is setting up Make to process information from a website. I use a webhook where my site sends information. All requests from the site go to the webhook, then GPT-40 connects, responds, and sends a link to the portfolio. Then the Gmail inbox is connected, where the subject and the GPT result are written. We go to the site, fill out the form, send it, the webhook is launched, which catches, processes, and sends the message to Gmail. This allows you to easily and quickly process requests from the site. The third communication is automating email processing. We set up a filter on Gmail for unread messages. These messages are sent to GPT, where the text is processed and sent back to Gmail. The response from GPT is logged in a table. Then you can follow up, add the history to CRM, etc. The next case is automating social networks, starting with YouTube. Your video editor uploads videos to Google Drive, Make checks the folder for new files, downloads the information, sends it to GPT-40, which creates a description and tags, and sends it to YouTube. The check runs once a day, automating the content upload process. The last case is using RSS to automatically fill social media. We use an RSS feed for AI content, add it to GPT, which makes a summary and adds a URL. Then the information is sent to the Telegram bot and Facebook. This allows you to adapt and automate content filling on your platforms. Technology allows you to automate work 100%. Subscribe to the channel to follow the latest automation tools.